Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, let's have a look at the documentation first. What all we can do. So we have to install these all these three different modules first. So we can quickly do them. Okay. Next thing is we have to create one database module. Okay. That we can inject in our app module and then we can initialize our configuration. So here in this database currently we are actually doing the MySQL and MongoDB stuff, right? So we will replace this MongoDB stuff with our MySQL one. Okay, this let's call it as a database module. This is fine. Now we have to define the entities. So I mean there are different ways. I am not just copying pasting from the document. We will customize it a little bit. We will actually pass these configurations from the config module. For now, this is what you need to define in your root module. Okay, if you are using the ORM config.json, but we are hard coding them and providing them. And then you can create the entities. So there should be a particular path for the entities. Here you can see I can create entity. And in the entities, I can say I think it's a user dot entity.ts and we have user entity with some basic columns that is fine and this is our user database module right what we can do is we can import this user entity and we can pass it to the database module because connections should get have all the entities defined So all the entities you can have user, maybe one is customer, which is going to have a same kind of attribute. This is just for demo. Instead of user, you can say that this is a customer entity and that we have to import same as user. Okay, now you need to pass uh, both entities here. Fine. Now what we need to do is we need to set up the docker compose file to actually get started with the database container, right? So for that we have to just do something. I already have the configuration. So I will be just doing copy paste thing here for the docker file and docker compose. So we are actually introducing docker and docker compose in our project. This is the docker file npm run. I can say debug. So do we have the debug script already written? Debug is nothing but a nodemon command. We are already using nodemon for our application. Okay. I will lost package.json somewhere. Here is our package root JSON. Oh, we moved this into another folder that is wrong. Let me just reveal this folder and I will just copy them. Okay, now I'm just copying them into this project which we have. Okay, now we got the, the correct structure. This node modules we can delete. Okay. Now we just need to have a debug command which is already there. This is my docker file and this is my docker compose. So this docker compose is having all these configuration root, test, root, password. Okay, database is test, all the other things are root. So we have to put same thing in our database connection. Root, root, test. These are the two entities, MySQL, localhost. Instead of that, it will be MySQL as a host because we are going to connect to a container. And the host for the container is MySQL here. This node container will talk to MySQL. Node has a dependency on MySQL. Okay, so that is the next part. And what we will do, we will spin up the container and we have to define the dependency of this. 
so for now we are just removing customer module because we need to clean this up right database module is already available okay so what we will do is let me install the the docker and all locally and we, i will spin up the docker container for the mysql and we will just uh, connect to the database container 